Hello, my name is Kevin Ostekil and today I'll bring you a very short but interesting tip that I found for Substance Designer 5. So a popular pattern has been the herringbone pattern, uh, I've used it myself several times uh, and people have asked me how I go about making that. Well, it is quite simple really, but today I'm going to show you an even simpler method that I recently discovered. Um, it's lacking some features that I would like, and I'm still working on how to implement those, but for getting the base pattern, it's perfect. I'll show you how. So as you can see here, I have the weave gen generator selected. That's what we're gonna use. Drag and drop that. As you can see, it already has kind of the shape we want, so it's gonna make it easy for us to take that even further. I'm just gonna up to resolution here. There we go, just so we have something better to work with. All right. This is all you need to do, basically. Um, well, not entirely. Uh, you need to add a levels node as well. Then you take the first output, which is the height, and plug that into the levels node. In the levels node, you go into the values, and then you do as follows. The first one is gonna be 0 0.7, the second one, 0.67, the next one is gonna be one, one, and zero. And there you go. This is practically it. If we go back to the weave generator, you can increase the weave, like so. As you can see, it's not entirely perfect. You can play around with the values if you wish. But it gives you all the things that you want. You can increase the tiling here as well, which is sort of the same thing. I guess changing the weave does make the um, boards longer if you wish, and changing the tiling does not. Uh, going down to one weave is uh, obviously gonna break the pattern. It's just gonna be squares and that's not what we want. But if you do anything higher than that, it does work. Now, one thing this method is lacking is um, sloping for the individual planks and um, randomized contrast. This is something that I would like to find a, a way around, but so far I haven't been able to, to find a, an easy way. But thank you for watching. This was my quick tip for Substance Designer for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.